When Pluto was officially reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, many people quickly dismissed it as a forgotten icy remnant lingering on the far edge of our solar system. Once celebrated as the ninth planet, Pluto suddenly became just a distant frozen rock, a cold, quiet world thought to hold little scientific value. However, thanks to groundbreaking high-resolution images and data from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, that perception is rapidly changing. Pluto is no longer seen as a silent, lifeless orb drifting in the darkness. Instead, it's emerging as one of the most mysterious and intriguing bodies in our solar system. The stunning visuals and data sent back by JWST have challenged nearly everything we believed about this tiny world. What was once dismissed as a dull, inactive planet now appears to be concealing something far more complex beneath its icy crust. Something that could reshape our understanding of life's potential beyond Earth. At the heart of Pluto's frozen secrets lies its most iconic landmark, Sputnik Planitia. This enormous heart-shaped glacier, composed primarily of frozen nitrogen, has captivated scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Beyond its striking appearance, Sputnik Planitia plays a crucial role in Pluto's geology. It is so vast that it affects Pluto's rotation and gravitational balance, almost as if the planet were weighted unevenly on one side. But what lies beneath this icy expanse may be even more remarkable. Beneath Sputnik Planitia's thick frozen shell, scientists believe there could be a subsurface ocean, a hidden reservoir of liquid water maintained by heat generated deep within Pluto's rocky core. This internal warmth likely arises from the slow radioactive decay of materials inside Pluto. Despite being nearly 6 billion kilometers away from the sun, this residual heat might be sufficient to keep water from freezing solid beneath the surface. This revelation transforms Pluto from a frozen wasteland into a dynamic, evolving world. The possibility of a subsurface ocean opens up extraordinary implications. If liquid water exists on Pluto, it could potentially support some form of life. Far from being a barren ice ball, Pluto may harbor environments capable of sustaining biology, albeit in ways radically different from Earth's familiar habitats. Water is essential for life as we know it, and wherever there is water, the potential for life follows closely behind. Supporting this theory, the New Horizons mission of 2015 revealed Pluto's surface to be surprisingly active, covered with fault lines, ridges, and tectonic fractures. These features are typical of geologically dynamic worlds, not ancient, frozen relics. Instead of a static surface, Pluto's icy shell appears restless, constantly reshaped by processes occurring far below. Adding to the intrigue is Pluto's gravitational relationship with its largest moon, Charon. Unlike most planet-moon systems, Pluto and Charon are locked in a unique binary orbit, circling a shared point in space between them. This gravitational dance generates tidal forces within Pluto's crust, and possibly within its suspected underground ocean, creating additional internal heat through friction. While scientists are still unraveling the details of this interaction, it may play a critical role in maintaining Pluto's geological and even biological activity. What if Pluto's hidden ocean isn't just liquid, but alive? Some researchers speculate that microbial life could exist in the dark, high-pressure, low-temperature environment beneath the ice. Any such organisms would have evolved in isolation, protected from sunlight, radiation, and extreme cold by thick layers of ice. According to physicist Brian Cox, the existence of microbial life in such an extreme environment would revolutionize biology and expand our understanding of where life can thrive in the universe. Yet, not all signs point to a peaceful existence. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected unusual heat signatures and chemical markers beneath Pluto's surface, patterns that, while still unexplained, resemble those produced by biological processes on Earth. Some scientists have even considered the unsettling possibility that Pluto could host life forms unlike anything known on our planet, perhaps alien organisms adapted to a wholly foreign environment that challenges our very definitions of life. One leading theory suggests that Pluto's subsurface ocean formed amid the chaos of the solar system's early days. Pluto is believed to have originated through repeated collisions and impacts, which generated enough heat to melt internal ice. 
Over billions of years, residual heat fueled by radioactive decay could have kept a portion of its interior in liquid form. If true, this means Pluto has been an active world since its birth, forged in fire, encased in ice, and still teeming with mystery beneath the surface. Adding another layer to its complexity, Pluto possesses a thin but surprisingly dynamic atmosphere. Mostly composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, Pluto's atmosphere creates a reddish haze. This haze results from organic molecules known as tholines, formed when ultraviolet sunlight interacts with atmospheric chemicals. Tholines are considered key ingredients in the chemistry of life and hint at complex organic processes taking place on this remote world. Pluto's relationship with Charon deepens the mystery. Charon's surface shows signs of tectonic activity from its own past, deep chasms, grooves, and ridges. At its poles, strange red caps have been observed, possibly formed as gases escape from Pluto, drift across space, and freeze upon landing on Charon's surface. This eerie gravitational and chemical connection raises a fascinating question. Could Pluto and Charon be influencing each other's geology, chemistry, or even biology? Among the many objects in the Kuiper Belt, a vast region filled with icy remnants from the solar system's formation, Pluto stands out. Most Kuiper Belt objects are cold, inert, and relatively inactive. But Pluto defies this norm. Its flowing glaciers, active surface, atmospheric haze, and internal heat market as a dynamic world, alive in a region once thought to be frozen and lifeless. If Pluto is active, what about other icy bodies beyond Neptune? Could they, too, harbor hidden oceans and complex processes waiting to be discovered? The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a new chapter in Pluto's story, but it has also left us with more questions than answers. The New Horizons flyby gave us an incredible glimpse in 2015, but it was brief, a snapshot in time. To truly unlock Pluto's secrets, future missions will need to orbit the dwarf planet, drill into its icy crust, analyze its atmosphere in more detail, and explore the mysterious ocean that may lie beneath. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the origins of life, the history of our solar system, and our own place within the cosmic tapestry. One intriguing question remains largely unexplored. Does Pluto have a magnetic field? While there's no direct evidence yet, some indirect data suggests magnetic activity might exist beneath the surface. If true, such a field could shield Pluto's atmosphere and subsurface ocean from harmful solar radiation, much like Earth's magnetic field protects our planet. This invisible force might also explain some of the unusual geological patterns and heat emissions observed across Pluto's surface. Pluto's location in the outer solar system exposes it to unique forces. Gravitational tugs from neighboring Kuiper Belt objects and passing stars may stir its interior, helping maintain geological activity that was once thought impossible for such a small and distant world. Ancient impacts and collisions likely shaped Pluto's surface, leaving behind clues we are only beginning to decipher. Once dismissed as a cold, dead rock, Pluto now emerges as a planet of riddles and surprises. Flowing glaciers, shifting ice, mysterious chemical processes, and a possible hidden ocean demand that Pluto be recognized as one of the most fascinating objects in our solar system. It challenges our definitions of what a planet is, what makes a world, alive, and where life might arise. So now the question is not just whether Pluto could support life, but what kind of life might already be hiding beneath its icy shell? What secrets remain frozen in its depths? What forces keep this distant world dynamic? And what else could be waiting in the twilight shadows of the Kuiper Belt, places we have barely begun to explore? Pluto is no longer just a relic of the past. It is a beacon pointing toward the future, reminding us how much we still don't know, and how many discoveries lie ahead. As our technology advances and our reach extends farther into space, we move ever closer to unraveling the hidden stories of worlds like Pluto. So, what do you think Pluto is hiding beneath its icy skin? Keep wondering, keep reaching, and keep your eyes on the stars. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more incredible space stories. Thanks for watching.